Oh. So, hello everybody. What is going on, dudes? It is Kiba Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Fire Red. Last time, we managed to beat Agatha and Lance of the Elite Four. We were so close to claiming rights to the League Championship, but of course we have one more challenge ahead of us. Let's go and take on that challenge. I recommend you start off with a flying type Pokemon or a Pokemon that is very fast and has flying type moves. Let's go. <sighs> hey, Isaac. You came back, Isaac? <laughs> that is so great. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for a Pokemon. Not only that, but I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Isaac, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. We get this badass theme once more. And we tackle Champion Gary. He starts off with a Heracross, level 72, bug fighting type, swarm for the ability with the moves Mega Horn, Counter, Rock Tomb, Earthquake. This is why I recommend you start off with a flying type and a fast one at that. He replaced two members of his team, of course, first off being the Pidgeot, but as long as you have a flying type, you should be able to take care of this Heracross, no problem. He will probably set up the Rock Tomb to lower your speed, Earthquake to get up high amounts of damage, Mega Horn to counter you if you send out a Psychic type, and Counter if it manages to live through one attack and take you down pretty fast. Next up, he's going to send out his Gyarados. In place of Gyarados on his uh, Blastoise team, he would have an Exeggutor, but first, the Gyarados. This Gyarados is level 73, Water Flying type, Intimidate for the ability, with moves Dragon Dance, Hydro Pump, Earthquake, Hyper Beam. The main thing it'll probably do is start off with a Dragon Dance to get off its speed and attack extremely high. Earthquake to counter any electric types you send out at it. Hydro Pump for high amounts of damage and Hyper Beam to potentially finish you off. The <clears throat> Gyarados on his uh, Venusaur team is roughly the same, being only level 73 as well. Water Flying type Intimidate with Dragon Dance, Hydro Pump, Earthquake, Hyper Beam. In place of the Gyarados on his Blastoise team, he would have an Exeggutor level 73. Grass Psychic type Chlorophyll for the ability with Moose Sleep Powder, Light Screen, Giga Drain, Psychic. For us, he has a Gyarados. We're going to send out Dory and hit it with a Thunderbolt ASAP. We want to take this thing down immediately. Because of Dragon Dance, it can be a major threat to every single one of my members. All of his team members have updated move pools, and of course, with that, they have moves that can counteract their weaknesses. Fortunately, as long as you're high level, you shouldn't have too much problem with this. Being level 70 is okay, 75 is a bit of an overreach, but you should be alright to take him down. Next up is going to be his Tyranitar. Tyranitar is level 72, Rock Dark type Sandstream for the ability with the moves Crunch, Thunderbolt, Earthquake, Aerial Ace. That Exeggutor that he has on his Charmander team, or his Blastoise team, We'll have Sleep Powder with Sleep Powder, Light Screen, Giga Drain, Psychic. We'll probably start off with the Light Screen. Put you to sleep with Sleep Powder, sap your health away, and restore its own with Giga Drain, and wail on you with Psychic. This Tyranitar with Sandstream immediately begins to build up a Sandstorm, making any Pokemon that isn't a Rock, Ground, or Steel type difficult to come out with because they are always being afflicted by it. However, one good, one good clean hit should be able to take care of this Tyranitar. I have Lotus out because of Razor Leaf. It's Stab. I have Miracle Seed. It should do some good damage. He has Aerial Lace, so we're going to take some damage, but we should be okay for the most part. We at least get him down to roughly half, and Earthquake should be able to min finish it off. I just wanted to use Razor Leaf for a safety. We have no more. Oh, no! I wasn't paying attention. Crap. I don't have any either. Shoot. Let me set this as I have to heal up. Damn it. Okay, I used up all my earthquakes. I could have sworn I had maybe a few more left. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sandstorm whittles down the amount of um, 
HP I recover. Same with uh, Rain Dance too. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to heal up. Let's go ahead and let's use one of our hyper potions. Why not? This Tyranitar can be annoying because of Sandstream. Sandstream does not go away until you use a different um, a different weather move to override it. There we go. Sandstorm will rage on for the remainder of the battle, I believe. Though I might be wrong in that. Um, let's just go ahead and let's raise the leaf again. Get off some good damage. He's probably going to heal next turn. If not, he's going to aerial release me. Damn it, I was hoping for the high crit chance to come through. Okay. Lotus is going to be able to hold out maybe one more turn. See how much damage this does. 39 down to 26. Okay, I can hold out for one more turn. Let's raise the leaf again. He's going to full restore as expected. That's fine. We have a max potion of our own to use. <clears throat> Come on. High crit. High crit. High crit. Let's go! Perfect. Nice job, Lotus. Thank you for that. Oh, I needed that. That is awesome. Okay. Next up is Alakazam. We're going to send out Ted for this. This Alakazam. Oh. Is level 73. Pure Psychic type. Synchronized for the ability. With the move Psychic. Reflect. Calm Mind. Shadow Ball. It'll probably begin with a Reflect. To raise its own defenses. Then it'll probably go in with a Calm Mind. To raise its special attack and defense. Before wailing on you with Psychic or Shadow Ball. Oh, okay. Ted should be able to tank this pretty well. Although, okay. A crit says otherwise. Alakazam has pretty high special attack, and as expected, it's pretty fast, so watch out for it. Fortunately, one Shadow Ball takes it down. Thank you. Okay. Next up is Exeggutor. We're going in with Volcan for this. On his other teams, in, well, his Blastoise team in place of Gyarados, he would have a Arcanine. This, his Arcanine, is level 73, pure fire type, intimidate for the ability. It was overheat, extreme speed, aerial ace, iron tail. The main thing it'll probably do is set up with an iron tail to lower your defenses, aerial ace to get off some good damage, overheat to completely obliterate you, and extreme speed to take you out of one quick turn. Same thing on its uh, Venusaur team, same tactic, level 73, same level, same ability, same typing, same moves. This Exeggutor is level 73 as well as I had mentioned before. Grass Psychic type, chlorophyll for the ability. With the moves Sleep Powder, Light Screen, Giga Drain, Psychic. It'll probably start off with the Light Screen to raise its special defense. Sleep Powder to attempt to put me to sleep. Giga Drain to sap your health away, restore its own, and Psychic for high amounts of damage. Vulcan gets off some good damage. It's probably going to use... Uh, okay. Sleep Powder, that's fine. We can go ahead and we can recover from this. Sandstorm is going to rage on, so of course it's going to get off some chip damage on us as him as well. He's probably going to full restore it because it's in the red. That gives us the chance to use a Chesto Berry. No point in um, going hard and using a full restore when we don't need one. Let's just wake Vulcan right up. As expected, he's going to full restore. Oh, okay. This music is so tense and so good. This fight is somewhat close. We've managed to take care of each of his members without losing one, which I'm happy for. I want to try to keep that streak going, though it might be difficult with his final Pokemon, of course. Let's Flame Wheel up. Come on. High damage, as long as you get him pretty low. That's fine with me. I'm cool with that. I believe he uses a, um, uh, a full restore per Pokemon, so do watch out for that. He has one for at least each of them. But as long as you got high damage going, um, you should be fine unless he completely throws my words right out the window. Unless he decides to use one in place of the others that fainted, which is understandable. Okay, we do about half. That's okay. That's fine. Volcan can hold out and tank his hits because they're not super effective against him. Maybe that Psychic can cause some problems. Oh boy. Let's see how this goes. He's going to swap to his star already. Charizard. In my case is level 75 fire flying type blaze for the ability 
holding a citrus berry with the most fire blast, aerial ace, dragon claw, earthquake. <sighs> He's gonna probably EQ right away. I wanna go in with the bow, but we're gonna have to bring out Ragnarok instead. Volcan, you did well. Yep, let's use his own moves against him. This Charizard is pretty powerful. In turn, his Blastoise, if you chose Charmander as your starter, is level 75, pure water type, torrent for the ability, holding a Citrus Berry, but it was Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Earthquake. You're gonna probably start off with a Rain Dance, just to increase its water type attacks. Ice Beam to counter your Venusaur or any other Grass type you send out at it. Hydro Pump to counter any um, Fire types, and Earthquake to counter any Fire types as well. Um, and Electro types too. His Venusaur, if you chose Squirtle, is level 75, Grass Poison type, Overgrowth for the ability holding a Citrus Berry, with the move Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, Earthquake. It'll probably start with a Sunny Day, so that way Solar Beam goes off every single turn. Sludge Bomb to a chance of Poison and Earthquake to counter any Fire types you send out against it. Who oh boy. I guess I gotta beat you the old fashioned way. Ragnarok, let's use Ancient Power to finish you off. Ah, that's fine. Hold out pretty well. Took him down. Volcan gained some experience. And last up is going to be his executor. Let's bring out the bow. And let's finish this. Huh, this executor, we've been over it before. Light screen wore off. The sandstorm rages, and only he is affected by it. Boom. Let's make a horn. And let's do it. Boom! And we beat Gary. Done it just like that. Let's go. The bow prevails. No! That can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that word to become the league champ, Marine is over already? It's not fair. And you're done in? Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Isaac! You see? Oak is here again. So you've won. Sincerely. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work. Yep, a whole 70 levels. On the Pokedex. Isaac, you have come of age. Why, thank you. Gary, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I had heard you'd been the Elite Four. But when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Isaac, you understand your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Isaac, come with me. Ahem. Congratulations, Isaac. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Isaac, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Isaac. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. <sighs> we did it. Ragnarok the Aerodactyl. Ted the Snorlax. Lotus the Venusaur. Vulcan the Arcanine. Dory the Lapras. The Bal, the Nido King. We are done. This is our second and final induction to the League Ho Pokemon Hall of Fame. 02090. 74 hours, 16 minutes. We are the League Champion.
And with that, we are officially done with Pokemon Fire Red. I had a lot of fun recording this and getting it all out to all of you. I know I'm not the first to do it. I probably won't be the last. But I certainly hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of it. I certainly thank you all so much for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed getting through all of this. The grinding was hell. But oh boy, I had some fun with it. Those surprise crits. My gosh, I'm so happy for them. I wanted to set it out in that order. You saw my team come out. Unfortunately, had no luck with that executor. But the bow came through and finished it. I wanted him to try and finish off that Charizard, though I knew it was going to be difficult because that Charizard had Earthquake and was probably extremely fast in the bow, faster than the bow. But we didn't have to worry. The bow came out, did his work, and claimed the championship for us. We're done. That is it for Pokemon Fire Red. This is officially the end. My thoughts on all of this, I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed playing through it. I felt I did it justice this time and practically put out all there is for me to say about it. Of course, all that's left really is to tackle the trainer tower if you want. Uh, you can take on completing the decks. Shoot. That is available to you. You have the Game Freak stopover back in Celadon City to visit if you manage to complete the decks. I don't know what you obtain from that, um, other than probably another star. Though, of course, that is entirely up to you guys. You all go for it. You give it your honest shot. I hope I showed off everything that there was. I'm surprised finding Entai was extremely fast, because in all my other attempts of finding the legendary beast, it took me a while. In all honesty, it took me some time. Um, thank you to whoever decided to translate the Braille text in the comments if you guys decided to do that. Um, this is hella far. This is super far, like, in advance of recording. But I'm glad I had enjoyed it. It's a great way to start the new year. And, um, there's really not much more to say. We see Gary admitting defeat. And all that's left is really just to train and catch all the Pokemon. You guys go for that. That is all entirely up to you guys. I will probably do it on my own time as well. Um, I do have a copy of Leaf Green to play, pair with this game, though um, streaming it like, or yeah, streaming it and playing it like this, I can't really set up the link cable to to trade it uh, to show off the trade section. Though, of course, I kind of did with um, the in-game trades; those are all available to you. Um, but I hope you guys seriously, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching me play through this. Uh, had a laugh at my reactions and things like that. Uh, to complete the decks, you have Colosseum to check out and XD to get through. Though I do plan on playing those games eventually. I look forward to playing those games. They are my favorite. They are my childhood. They are my original introduction to Pokemon, the world of Pokemon. I really wish they got remakes or updated to the Switch, but can't ask for too much. I hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, join me back here tomorrow or next time where we re-enter... An old world that uh, we completed a year ago. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.